Officials in British Columbia, Canada were worried. In just two months, one-sixth of their supply of Ozambique, a diabetes drug with off-label uses for weight loss, had been emptied out of British Columbia and sent to America. At this rate, in under a year, it would all be gone and none left for Canadians. What they found when they started to investigate was that there was a doctor in Texas who had dual medical licensing in both Canada and Texas, and he was writing prescriptions. In February alone, he wrote 7,500 prescriptions, which means that if he didn't take a day off, he saw 250 patients a day. Officials in Canada began to get worried. If you look at the population difference between the US and Canada, it's pretty clear that we could drain their drug supply in not too long. They suspended the doctor's Canadian medical license and began to take other measures to restrict their drug supply from export. One of PSM's founders, Marv Shepard, actually studied this issue and found that in a matter of weeks, if US drug supply purchasing shifted to Canada, we would run their shelves dry very, very quickly. To read this paper and learn more about this issue, go to safemedicines.org.